ready for the major? No! I said, are you ready for the animator? It's Mars mid versus Puck, right? Yeah, Mars mid versus Puck and then Beastmaster or Flynn. Oh, wow, yeah. that's that's kind of scary. Hands are very familiar with us, Cass, or not you, I guess. You had them two series yesterday, I believe. That's right, they're real fans. We have the Wraith Fire Blast to start things out into an Impale, into a Cookie, and that is going to be more than enough to either give the first blood to Armel. He wants it, and he'll get it. Oh, this would be such a big kill for GH. Oh, yeah, Bach is quite low. GH, he's going to find him. There's a concussive shot, Arcane Bolt to follow. A couple more right clicks will suffice. He's already popped a Fairy Fire. And it looks like one more is needed, and GH is playing pretty greedy in terms of the items. He hasn't gotten boots yet, just going straight for that Atos. What are your thoughts on that? Pretty cool. Oh, bot lane. That's Boomy. top. Yeah, top lane, sure. That's the Cinderinism. The other bot lane. <laughs> well, if it's flipped, it's bot. <laughs> it's Wraith Fireblast. He's going to try to position himself so he takes a little bit less damage thanks to that passive, but TNC gets the better of him here. ILTW and GH teaming up on Bach again. This will be such a big kill. It looks like they're going to at least find one from TNC side. Their jungle creeps, which are going to be worth less. And like uh, the, uh, it's a rough start. Like we're seeing the... Oh, oh. my. That was, yeah, that was the roar into a couple axes here. Into the coil and TP support with the cookie. Oh, my God. that was The creep was looking the wrong way. That is very unfortunate. And the oh, axes no. actually get the kill. Miracle. Oh, no. TNC. Boomy. Will get the trade at least in GH. Yeah, the Arcane Bolt will net himself the kill. Veil, both games? Before Boots? Yes. Skyrath okay. has really good base moves. We 335, one of the highest in the game. Or oh my, nice it? transition from Tim's punishing that. This is just next on the list, can almost get his point booster already. So he is going to have a very, very good timing. And so we're going to see a coil from Armel into the jungle. Looks like they'll find Kuroki at the very least, but here comes ILTW with a double Chronosphere. GH is not level 6 yet, but they probably have enough damage, especially with that bash from ILTW. Tim's still level 5, and he's pretty tanky as this, as this Nyx Assassin. And now Bach waddling his way over. Not really able to provide too much damage, though. Mystic Flare to come out again with the Tomato trying to block. Uh, I, I think the only reason they really considered it is the Chrono, right? And we're going to see the Roar here. Kuroki and GH are on the other side. What? Cookie onto the high ground, but there's the Mystic Flare to stop any more action coming from that Snapfire. Meanwhile, bottom lane, ILTW takes a tumble. Oh, the thing I see here is if Miracle does not... Oh, he's going to get jumped here. Yep. Solo Coil, though, into the Snapfire. Oh, he's going to try to reposition himself, but ends up getting the break on the Coil. And nice silence from Armel should ensure the, that they'll be able to get this kill. Although, no, Miracle's still staying alive. He gets the roar off on, onto Armel. And the right click from Bach, will that be enough? A nice Chronosphere onto two. They're going to be able to get Armel as well as potentially another kill onto Boomy. Nice rotation by ILT. I cannot believe Miracle has lived through this. And now Viper completely surrounded. All right, that's the Aegis for Miracle. They're just going to go high ground. ILTW does have the Chronosphere available, but it looks like Kuroki's going to get picked up to start this fight. Mystic Flare, though, to try to counteract this. Looks like we'll get a trade for the Nyx Assassin, but the Chronosphere only onto one hero. But it is the Wraith King, and he does not have mana right now. If they can find a little bit more damage, they can take him out. But Bach, in the meantime, gets his Viper Strike off just before dying. So it's a two for three. If you don't include that ult from the Wraith King, does have enough mana, pops that wand. And now he's at full HP, so ILTW might have to question his decision here. The Snapfire Cookie as well. Triple kill for Armel, making a great comeback in this fight. Despite the Aghanims being online for Miracle, the longer these fights go, the more damage he does. Look at these axes. Do they have enough to actually take him out? He finally gets a kill, but an ultra kill for Armel. The one hero they can't kill is Puck, and he's going ham right now. Uh, are going to be spotted as Gabby has the Sacred Relic. Really doesn't want to die right now. Tim's is going to try to set up a kill. Bach with that Viper Strike should be enough to kill Kuroki. The he's Coil hot. expended as well, you're right. The hood is, looks like it might be enough to survive potentially. It's actually going to use a Snapfire ult as well. Definitely not needed, but on the other side, they find the Raid King despite the scan. Snapfire tries to cookie out. Boomy should be okay. It just feels like TNC are just on the back foot right now. Mind Control and company are just keeping the pressure on. Spear doesn't look like it could be able to find anything else here, although GH gets caught out. So Armel's really made a nice comeback, especially after the last fight getting the Ultra Kill. GH was really uncharacteristically out of position there. All right, Coil on the tankiest hero in the game right now, but he is surrounded, so Kuroki will fall. This would be a big pick. This would be huge. He is the top net worth in the game, but Mind Control is going to find a potential pick with the Mystic Flare combination. Gabby, that's his first life. Remember, he does have ratings. We'll see how much Armel and company can do here. Roar expended onto the Wraith game. If they can get this kill, this is enormous. Chronosphere only on a one, but it's the Nyx Assassin. Snapfire oh, to follow. They're doing quite a bit of damage. They lose the Mars, buy back onto GH as well. Can Void get out of here is the question. ILTW cannot get to the high ground, has to pop his BKB, stand his ground, but 
There's no ground to stand on anymore. He drops. And this fight for TNC going very well despite losing the Wraith King. Now the next hero on the list is the Beastmaster Miracle who drops. Bach is just doing work right now. Kuroki not doing that much damage because everybody's so close to him. The Snapfire Cookie's not going to save anybody, so they do find the Viper in the end. GH misses the Atos. Hits one of those annoying skeletons, a Kuroki. Take your time. Yeah, it takes some time. Miracle, he gets the initiation off. Onto the Wraith King. We've talked about this again, how they probably shouldn't be using all this onto him, but it's not that much expended, really. They still have Mars ult. Gabby pops the BKB. They'll see if Team Nigma wants to reset. There's the initiation from ILTW onto two. Nyx Assassin, they see him. That's the newly picked up Agnum Scepter, but the Mystic Flare is just way too much damage. Bop picks up his, or pops his newly picked up BKB as well, but that's a double kill for ILTW. Look oh, at the patience. Beautiful Mars ult. Armel gets off the face shift. The loser orb to follow. Looks like he will be able to get out and a coil to help finish off that pesky Mars as well. So now it turns into a three versus four in favor of Team Nigma. The Agnum Scepter uh, for ILTW that he's working on now is he's going to get the time dilation off into the reverse time walk. Goodness gracious, what a play. Boomy. All right. Still being chased here. ILTW doesn't have the reverse time walk anymore. It might be in a precarious spot. They're just going to blow him up. Okay. Oh, we're going to have the roar come out from Miracle. And it seems oh, okay. to be that, that, you know, Boomy has just found his way on the other side of this so many times now. Looks like they still want to fight. He's going to buy back into the game. Kuroki looks like he falls right away. Mind Control's going to pop the BKB, gets that Mars ult off. The box is going to walk out of his own accord. ILTW looks like he is just resetting completely. Coil onto one. Tim's, he's in his form right now in the burrow. Chronosphere onto a couple of heroes, including that Nyx Assassin, the Mystic player like we talked about. Just not enough damage mitigation for him. He's going to buy back into the game, though. Is this is now a 4v5, technically speaking. Is the cheese is popping ILTW? Do oh. they have the damage to finish him off? Looks like they do not wait. There's the arm now coming with the burst damage. That is enough. No buyback for ILTW. TNC. They get the kills that did require buybacks, but now Roche is up. Mm -hmm. They stun the inch, they nether toxin, they get Oh, I hear another roar. Oh man, the mystic flit. That is actually just enough. One K just gold. That. Wow. That's true. So. And Gabby's actually holding the Refresher Shard, so probably oh, okay. will pop that in for his BKB when he uses it. Yep. Gabby's going to initiate with that Nullifier. Looks like it's going to be used against the Aeon Disc, and GH is just dead at the beginning of the fight. Coil onto Miracle. It's the buyback onto GH. Now there's the Roar. Again, it's on oh, the Wraith snapped. King. Oh, nice and pale from afar, thanks to that Aghanim Scepter on Nyx Assassin. And it looks like that is going to be the fight for TNC big time, despite the buyback coming out. But GH, can he get this kill? He will! He does get Armel in the end, despite being completely outnumbered. Now, keep in mind that buybacks are still there for Nigma. See if they want to use these to try to turn things around. ILTW not able to get much off here as Gabby will actually pop the refresher shard to be able to get his ult back as there's a double buyback. They're TPing into the shrine as well, but looks like GX takes a tumble already with that nullifier usage. ILTW going hand with the Agnum Scepter onto Boom right now. They're trying to kite Gabby as much as possible, but these spider legs are coming into handy big time. It's two buybacks now for TNC. There's a nullifier again onto ILTW, who has absolutely no mana whatsoever. Trying to get slow onto Gabby, trying to kite this guy. Just one shots that boar. Now Kuroki, very tanky on the run. It's still five versus three, despite all these buybacks coming in. A couple right clicks will suffice, and it looks like Kuroki finds his way to the grave. They do get the snap fire though. Because of this, and the reason he w is willing to commit it is that he knows it's a dieback for Skyrath if he dies. Mm -hmm. So that alone forced out the buybacks from Miracle and Kuro, Another and they just roar. get so many bonus kills. Yeah, he's not going to get into the spot. dive. He pops the Aeon disc. That's pretty valuable. But there's a spike carapace. This might set things up. There's the coil. Looks like he's going to stay on the outskirts of this. Pops the BKB. The nullifier is already applied, and it looks like the right click damage will be more than enough. And this is a dieback onto Miracle. Cannot get to him whatsoever. The Chrono's down. <laughs> Just trying to be as annoying as possible. I mean, this is buying time for Miracle to come back in 20 seconds. ILTW continuing to be an annoying presence. Gabby just has so many lives, it feels like. Is there's a spear into the Ancient, but the damage is still being applied. Gabby is just focusing on the Ancient completely. Mars Ult comes out. He's just going to spider legs and right click it down. And TNC takes game one. My goodness. This was a hell of a game, Cinderella. They go with the, okay, this is completely out of the left field. Let's completely shut down the Ursa. Let's make his life miserable.
Uh, so it will be Armel mid on the, the left track versus Invoker. The top lane, we're going to have a little bit of action. The Bramble, nice rotation from GH. This is going to be an early first blood for Enigma. They're going to try to give it to ILTW, and they will be successful. It's like the Echo Saber into Blink into BKB Daedalus, something like that. Yeah, it'll be a similar build, I think. Um, I will say, though, that I don't I don't think Carry Magnus fares particularly well against Ursa. Mm -hmm. I, I, oh, mind control. All right. That's a lot of damage with that impetus, and the Skewer will finish him off, but they do get the Pango before then. Who actually go for an Aghanim's, like, third item or something like that is Bach. Getting chased, a nice disarm with that lucky shot. ILTW, another right click will be enough, though. That's another kill going the way of Nigma, but it will be a trade as Tim's takes out Kuroki in turn. GH and Boomy having a right click battle for the ages. Is this a little creepy, not really fast enough to catch up? But Armel in the meantime, two versus one, gets to split Earth off, but looks like he's just going to go down to Miracle's oh. right click. Yep, just in time. And just enough damage is now Miracle getting back into this game again as Boomy. Being chased by GH in the meantime, has the high ground advantage with that Fairy Fire, pops it, but the Thunder Strike will end up netting the kill. It's going to be another trade. So Magnus, mm -hmm. and now that Ench was off hunting the the Willow for a good minute oh, and a half. My. Oh, okay. that's skewer a good back skewer. Tier one mind control. I'm not sure if he wanted to spear Gabby instead, but found Boomy, and now mind control onto that tower will be taken down pretty quickly. Now GH only level two has uh, one skill of each, so. Has the combo that he really needs. Going to get the Curse Crown Bramble as well with the Tornado setting everything up. And Lashrak taking so much damage. Can they get the kill though is the question. The Shadow Realm is indeed enough. The impetus, oh the smoke! Disjoints it, I'm not sure if it missed in the meantime, but either way, the smoke putting to good use for GH. In the meantime, Swashbuckle on the side, Kuroki getting chased by Tim's. Now that Orb of Venom coming in handy, Cinderman. Double kill for GH though. Does he get the Enchantress kill as well? Roshan, will he? No, he's, he's not interested. You know, traditionally at least. Magnus will take it, I assume, for now, but... Yeah, he's the best carrier they have. Oh my, Viper Strike? ILTW is in a lot of trouble. Pretty much anybody on the map. Uh, but other than that, it feels like the, the mid lane is the big story here, as Miracle is 600 ahead as Armel. He's actually gonna Might die. Might be dying again. Shadow Realm is set up. Tornado to follow. Is that enough damage? Indeed. And they have Perfect spell casting. They waited for everything to land and then they tornadoed for the finish. That's exactly what they needed to do. Right. Burrow's in trouble. Yep, kinetic field, but Bach is able to right click from beyond here. There is TP from Mars in the first arena of the game, and they do take out the Disruptor easily, but Mind Control gets the bigger kill on the position three Viper. Kuro's like, now that's more like it. I guess it means Mind Control is playing more like Sev this game. Very good. <laughs> okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. <laughs> we have a spear into a tree, mind control, pretty much out of mana at this stage, but Boomy looks like he's taken out with that rebuke. Pretty easily. Jarmel in the meantime. I mean, that Pulse Nova is no joke. And first rush of the game is at 9.58. So I think you're right. Maybe there will be an Agonim Scepter Rush at some point. Miracle gets a Tornado EMP combo with that spear set up, and that is a very, very fast kill onto Boomy. But here's the Mars ult. Tim's with that Rolling Thunder. They can get Miracle. He actually I got goes to the down. long round as a result of that, but they'll find the kill it regardless. Didn't matter. So it didn't matter as Cinder is being excited for absolutely no reason. And now the question is, can TNC continue on here? No. Okay, thank you. Well, um, and it is a very strong duo. They set each other up very well. The Curse Crown sits up nicely for the combo, and so does Tornado MP. Spear. Ooh, glimpse into the spear. Sunstrike to follow. Kinetic kill static storm combination is there, but Mind Control trying to walk away as the damage from Leshrak is so much, but the Lesh drops and the trade is for the Disruptor, so Gabby and Bach trying to team up to take out GH. It looks like they'll be successful at that at the very least, and now that their whole team is here... Whoa! An RP onto nothing. I don't think Nigma saw that, but if he keeps dying, that's not really ever going to happen. And now this Tier 1 tower not able to be denied, and ILTW gets credit for that. Pops the Enrage, of course still has the Aegis, and Bach in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, I don't even know if the Sunstrike connected. If it did, it did almost no damage. His level 1 Exhort. It, it's something. He just wanted a little assist there. But there's, see the glimpse again, Static Storm. Mars ult to fall, and my god, they can just kill him without even having to commit their bodies at all. And that is the, the position 1 Magnus, keep in mind. GH dodges the Swashbuckle. Tim's able to get the kill regardless, though. The cold weather, as it were, Cinderin. He's cured up a know. Midas after his vessel, so he yeah. has a plan for oh, how to get rich later. Again, the vision from Miracle sets this up to start with. Spirit Vessel applied. Oh, the RP. Gabby finds Miracle. This will be a pretty big kill. Looks like they're going to get it. And Boomy has come to play as well. The Glimpse not oh, really going to have much of an effect. And now the Static Storm has to be used for Kuroki to try to get it defensively, but it's not going to be successful. So a two for nothing. 
And despite having the vision advantage there, Nigma coming out on the losing end of this this fight. Well, game a 700 gold lead is not that much, but as is always the case with Carry Magnus, it's about hitting oh, that big combo. Control. Oh, oh, nice, nice Yule, Yule. Yeah. dodging the spear, but there's a static storm combo to find him. And yeah, it doesn't really matter. Although the Viper Strike to try to counteract this. This is a dead no bear. No Aegis or anything. Yeah, the bear looks quite dead. So it'll be position two for position one. Let's go back to this uh, this Midas choice from here. Oh, oh he's nice. going to be found with this RP. Oh, he you missed the swashbuckle was there to show him. Done target. Yeah, but there's still quite a few heroes here to help out. There's a lot of damage being applied now with the Sun Strike coming through. Again, not that much. And the fear of the Terrorize, the glimpse back. They're just repositioning these heroes left, right, and center. Gabby just outside the kinetic field, just skewering to safety. So despite all the spells used, nobody has died yet. <laughs> and the spear back onto Tim's. Looks like Mind Control might be the sacrifice. Good brambles, though. Yeah, well, in the meantime, Armel finds a little goodie in the form of GH, and Mind Control will be next. So the skewer is crazy. Feels like it's up all the time. But probably for a different type of build here. Glam. Oh, boy. Yeah, Spear, Static Storm. They're using everything to kill this Lesh, who's, you know, not doing super great this game, but at the same time, it's still a hero you have to respect. Oh, he might be wrapped around here. Kuroki, oh, blinks out. Skewer's out. They just need a little bit of vision for Kuroki. And Gabby is going to be found with that spear. Here comes the Cataclysm, the Mars ult, everything being used to take out the position one Magnus. Well, he's thinking that they might be in Roche, but he's already used his Blink Dagger, and there's the RP just on one. Oh, he's they'll dead. take it. He doesn't have buyback. That's yep. pretty big. They don't know this, of course, but this could potentially free up Roche for them. Their lineup's not particularly good at killing yes, it, it's though. It's very bad, in fact. But Tim's gets the Rolling Thunder off. They want to focus on Kuroki, and they're going to get him pretty easily. So two kills right off the bat for TNC. And I believe that GH is going to be next. That's a triple kill for Armel, who's come back with a vengeance. Might have a buyback that's going to be on Kuroki. LTW has to use that BKB charge. It's crazy how much better you can be at the game than your brother, right? Like, <laughs> here we go again. Yeah, it's, it's the same blood. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, glimpse back. Can they burst him down? The static storm kinetic field combo again. And yes, the pango is done, though. Tier 1 tower is about to fall as well. ILTW, I believe he popped the cheese there, trying to go ham onto Gabby. Oh, into that's the good. Cataclysm. It's going to clip Gabby, but it's not enough for the kill. Spirit Vessel applied as well, but now Nigma on the run. I mean, they are completely outnumbered. We see a Mars Ult being used to take out Magnus. He'll be successful in doing so. Ursa buyback now to Ursa. This is a huge buyback. If TNC can get out, this is a dead even game in terms of net worth. Four Staff not quite going to get Armel into the high ground. Boomy might be the sacrifice. And again, I think TNC will be very happy with that, but maybe the Viper instead, so. Oh, oh Boomy does get taken out, and yeah, they're going to get at least two kills here for Nigma. Straight so to something, Roche. Yeah, and the Roshan is the reason for this buyback. Relatively evenly matched based on, you know, small sample size, but looking Miracle. really good. These RP onto Miracle. This should be enough damage with the Split Earth and the Pulse Nova applied. More kiting against Ursa. Yeah. I kind of would have liked maybe a Halberd. Yeah, Halberd went really good as Gabby gets the RP off. Armel with the BKB split earth combo, and they take him out two minutes. No ILTW. Mind Control puts down his Mars ult, but it's really to no avail. And just the AoE damage from Armel is crazy. Nice. Yule's dodging a lot of Miracle spells, but there's the Refresher Shard used in, in conjunction with that Sun Strike combination. Gabby with a triple kill, though, and this is way too much damage for Nigma to deal with. The Cataclysm wasn't enough. All right, Nigma need to find something here. Mind Control gets the Marine off, but he doesn't find anybody in the four step under the high ground. But looks like GH will be able to have the damage to take out Boomy at the very least, but buys back into the game now. Now no more Zarina. Tim's doing work with that Rolling Thunder. Actually finds the Ursa in the meantime. He just rolls right into him. This is going to be a huge kill inside that Nether Toxin. Pops his old RP onto one. Cataclysm to follow, though. It's not going to do that much damage. LTW is pretty healthy for now. But remember, he does not have buyback whatsoever. Terrorize onto a couple of heroes. GH trying to do as much as he can as Mind Control spears somebody into the cliff. And the chase is continuing. Gabby skewers Ursa basically all alone, being bursted down, eats the cheese, which he still had, but it doesn't matter. More than enough damage for TNC as it looks like they're gonna take this series two to zero. And this again in the last three minutes. Ah!